In ancient times, young boys were sent to Gurkhals, where they lived there for many years till the completion of their education. When the pupils had gained enough knowledge and wisdom, they were sent home with the Guru's blessings and settled down in life. Two pupils, named Chaitra and Maitra, were to leave the Gurkhal for going home as their studies were over. They were favored to their Guru, so obedient and intelligent. One day, after their prayer during dusk, Sandhya Vandana, both of them went to their Guru and said, Gurudev, please tell us what gift we may give you as our Guru Dakshina. The Guru was pleased with the pupils' love and gratitude and loved them for their devotion, discipline, and sense of duty. He expected nothing more from them. However, he decided to add a little more to the pupil's wisdom. So he said to them, Children, I am so happy that you have finished your studies. Um, you have to accomplish one thing, and if you do that properly, that will be your Guru Dakshina for me. Come with me. Oh, is it? We shall do whatever you ask us to do. Both of them accompanied Guru. He showed them two empty rooms and told, Fill this room completely without any empty space. I shall give you both one coin each. You can use this coin if you want to purchase something. So fill the room with something you like. Tomorrow by this time I shall come to see your filled room. That, that is your task. Both of them saluted Guru and promised to do what he asked. But both of them went to deep thinking. How to fill this room? Even if we purchase something, it had to be in a book. Then only this room can be filled. But what will we get with only this one coin? Oh, this is so confusing. They were in a dilemma. Thinking and thinking, they went to sleep. Next day came. Both of them have not yet decided what to do. Anyway, there is no time left back. By today evening, we have to do what Guru has asked us, they told each other. Maitra rushed straight out to the market. He found a man who was selling something. Oh, he was selling wastes that he collected from various places. What a good idea. With this single coin, I can purchase enough waste to fill the room allotted to me. Nancy! Can I please get this free trash? Yeah. Anyway, just take this coin. Shaitra, on the other hand, sat down and meditated deeply, rising and in deep peace. He also went to the market and bought a very small mud lamp and a little bit of oil, with that one coin that Gurudev gave. Hmm. I just light my room that was allotted for me. The ass for sale, the ass for sale, the ass for sale. Namaste. Can I buy this dia and oil also? Yes. Here's your one cent. Daniwad. It was going to be dark after Sandhya Vandana. Guru came. He first went to Maitra's room and opened the door. Guru couldn't see what was there, but he closed the room quickly, unable to bear the smell and escaped from there somehow. Next, Guru visited Chaitra's room. He opened the door. There was no empty space. The whole space was filled with light. Guru became so happy that his disciples was taught the real value to be followed in life. That it is not the quantity, but the quality that matters. He told... Asatoma sagamaya, 